Yeah, I appreciate it once again. If we could just hit mute on our uh, computers uh, on the screen and in Teams or on your phone, that would be uh, would be excellent. Um, appreciate everybody uh, jumping on the call here today um, and giving us the opportunity here. I'm going to uh, share my screen here with you, um, so you should see the uh, the presentation here coming up now. Um, you know, the goal here today is really to talk about uh, the Timber Tech railing product line. Uh, what's new for 2020? Um, some of the changes we made, why we made them, um, walk through our composite line, um, our metal line, as well as some of the sales tools, how to order, um, some positioning, just some different ideas and uh, things that we've uh, we've brought to the uh, the market here this year. Um, so please uh, you know, ask questions if you have them or save them to the end, however you're more comfortable, um, and we'll make sure to get those addressed for you um, as we work through this. So. Uh, as you look at the slide here now of our of our current railing portfolio, um, it's uh, that shows everything we've got here from traditional composite uh, to modern as well as minimal uh, metal. Um, and what we've what we when you look at this, um, you know, a lot of comments we get um, is you know around the railing specifically is um, you know too many SKUs. Uh, why so many options? Can it be more simple? Um, you're missing an option, so we ask for more SKUs as we're asking for SKUs to go away. Um, but we, you know, when we look at this portfolio um, as, as a company, we made a decision a couple of years ago to really look at railing through the lens of, of, a, of a railing company. How would we act? What would the options be? What are the styles, the material sets, et cetera? Versus maybe historically, um, how we and some of our competitors look at it as a decking company that also sells railing. So it's a very different way that you look at it when you're, when you're driving it through the lens of a railing company. Um, and what we do know from you know, very anecdotally, walking through lumber yards across the country, um, there's a lot of different railing options that are shown in, in every single lumber yard. Um, and then you know from consumer research and re consumer conversations, um, they want to be able to design their backyard space. They want to make their own statement. They want to make it their own to match their architecture, their color scheme, um, or their just personal likes of what they want to have this look like. Uh, we know that from how they use multi-width decking and mix and match colors of in a vintage or legacy collection or use that accent breaker board or picture frame they want to just put their own kind of stamp on it and when you look at railing this is really where a homeowner can make their statement um, you drive by the house you see the railing you don't see the decking you look through the backyards you see railing not the decking so we know the consumer wants options um in what top rail profile fits their their look or colors or infills um, and material set. So that really drives this portfolio and it's one that we're very proud of um, as a company. But from a, a, a simplicity sake, that, that's the goal here today is kind of walk you through peeling back some of those layers and how can we really look at this and it, it truly is simple when you look at it at its core. So it, as we've grouped this out into three different groups of traditional composite that carries uh, our Premier Rail, Radiance Rail, Trademark and our new Drink Rail solution. Um, in the classic composite series. In the bottom left, you've got Radiance Rail Express, which is really our, our entry point um, into, um, into composite railing from a pricing perspective. Move over to Reserve Rail, which is just a, a heavily architecturally focused top rail profile and system. A little bit more chunky, a little bigger. Um, so think historical architecture, um, oceanfront, porches. Um, you know, there's that New England kind of kind of look and feel to it um, in that Reserve Rail. Moving over to the middle there, you've got our modern composite, which is our historical drink rail solutions and contemporary rail and builder rail. And then off to the right, you've got our metal solutions and impression rail express, which is our panelized system. And then impression rail, which is our stick built, uh, you know, build it on site solution. So you know, all these, all this gives options and, um, and design ability for the, the homeowner, but it also allows us to hit this from a, a pricing expectation of a consumer. Um, we as, as salespeople um, can be you know, listening to what are they looking for for their budget, what do they want to accomplish, and then look back to the portfolio of where within here, um, do I, which, which product line do I start with? And that's really where we have to focus on the positioning piece of it, of understanding where everything fits from a pricing perspective and how that lines up with other product lines they may be looking at at other lumber yards or conversations that we're having um, in-house, so what, what do we want to talk to them about and make sure we're positioning the right thing? Is it a system with hollow balusters? We're going to look at Radiance Grill Express. If we're looking at 
um, you know, the two support channels, a faster and solid core balance versus we're going to look at the classic series to make sure that we're, we're heading in the right direction there. Um, and then look down at the, uh, the metal solutions there, um, really fit what we feel is in a very competitive um, positioning in the marketplace. So, um, you know, as we dig into the traditional composite, um, which again is Radiance Rail, Premier Rail, and Trademark, you know, th those again are the systems that um, really look at, um, you know, our, our kind of mid premier level premium level product line and you've got radiance rail and premier rail that are available in the same five colors and same four infill options uh, and then move to the right to trademark it's available in white with the same four infill options so if you can order premier rail you can order radiance and trademark um, they're, they're the same system here within the same system just a different top rail profile at this point those infill options are your composite balusters again those are solid filled um, solid core balusters and you've got aluminum balusters available in round and square so if you've got a, uh, a homeowner who's looking for maybe a more of a little modern look um, the the square balusters might be the way that they want to direct they want to go um, and then you've got the standard round there as well along with cable as well as glass channel um, down in the lower left you've got that funny looking little bracket that uh, we'll dig into a little bit more here later but just to understand that, that that bracket is included with your hardware, that's included in your kit and pack, and that bracket does straight sections, straight sections. angled sections, as well as stair sections. Um, so with one bracket, you're able to do all those different installations, so you don't need to know on the job site, is there stairs, are there angles, what hardware pack do I need to send? It's included in your kit and pack, and one bracket does it all. So not only can you, if you can order one, you can order all three. If you can install Premier Rail, you can install Radiance and Trademark because they use the exact same system and, and installation process. So you're trying to just simplify um, all the way through and use um, similar parts and pieces all the way through. As you move to the, ra to the, to the right in Radiance Rail Express, you're moving into our, um, again, as you just saw in the previous slide, kind of our, our entry point into the composite world of railing. Um, that's available in three colors in white, black, and Kona, um, and one infill option of, uh, again, hollow balusters in e any three of those colors. So as you look at this, um, what's the difference from the, the right-hand side to the left-hand side of the screen here? Um, as you look at the classic composite series, that's available in six, eight, and 10 foot lengths, in res and that's code approved in uh, residential and commercial. And when you move to the right, it's available, uh, Radiance Rail Express is available in six foot and eight foot lengths. Um, again, residential and commercial code compliant. Um, all of our code reports are listed on our website uh, under the support tab. Um, if there's ones you wanna look at specifically for your application, those are all out there. Um, but there's, that's something that we wanna, as we talk about positioning, is understanding what the other, what, you know, what are the other key products in the marketplace that you're, you're competing with or that your, your customers might be looking at and understand those differences because there's something inherently different um, in a product that is code compliant to 10 foot commercial and one that is is six foot residential. They're just inherently different in the testing and uh, requirements that they have both safe to their own perspectives, uh, but there is something different um, as you work through those. So understanding that from a positioning standpoint uh, will certainly help. Um, other differences as you look at Radiance Real Express, maybe that's uh, speed of installation. You've got a single top and bottom uh, extruded top rail with three routed holes with hollow balusters that drop into place. Versus on the left-hand side, you've got a top and bottom support channel, a top and bottom rail that covers that for the statics, and you're actually physically attaching each fast each baluster with a fastener um, as you go into it because they're hollow, they're solid filled bas balusters. So. Depending on which direction you're going, is it speed of installation and you're okay with maybe a little bit of rattle in the balusters or are you looking for strength and, um, you know, real, real, um, you know, up to 10 foot code compliance. Now you're running a baluster into a you know, faster into each one of those solid balusters. So really understanding there again, what, what are you looking at from a competition um, or a, a other product line as you're looking at these products of. You know, Radiance Real Express is going to compete with some of the other composites with, with hollow balusters and pre-routed holes or with maybe a high-end vinyl. You're going to look at that Radiance Real Express then uh, from kind of features to features, but really in Radiance Real Express, you still get that look and feel and touch of real wood 
versus a vinyl or some of the other um, composite products out there that maybe have a little bit more plasticky look and feel to them. So some differences there as you look across the slide. But, you know, as you get back to the classic series, why did we make the change that we made um, in this and kind of grouping all these together in the classic series? It was, a, it was, it was to simplify ordering, reduce the skew count and complexity, and be able to offer a drink reel option within these five colors versus just black or walnut, which was historically in that um, in the builder rail and contemporary rail. So by, by simplifying and reducing the skews and complexity, we were also able to offer um, something new to the marketplace that they've been, been looking for. Um, as you look at kind of what it was historically, uh, you've got your, we had different and unique bottom rail profiles that you see along the bottom of the page there in Premier Rail, uh, Radiance Rail, and Trademark. Um, so that drove kits and packs for Premier Rail, kits and packs for Radiance, kits and packs for Trademark. So a lot of complexity, takes a lot to kind of walk through that on a, on a, in, a in literature or on a how to order guide. It just drove complexity and drove skews. So purely by switching over to a universal bottom rail that you see at the top up there, that allowed us to reduce skews by almost 40% within uh, within these these three profiles um, and really make that into one series that allows allowed for simplification in the ordering. And before at the end here, we'll walk through what that ordering is, is looking like um, as we go through this. So, um, uh, so as we're going through this uh, within that drink rail option, um, now by just using that, that universal rail, uh, we are able to uh, move over here in the top right of the screen, show that uh, support channel with the universal rail surrounding it, um, and then giving the, the top, the deck board, which is a full profile, um, you know, square edge board. But uh, you know, switching screens here a little bit over into the install instructions for the drink rail. Again, this is available on our website, so you know, timbertech.com click on support, click on installation help, um, and the install instructions are all there for you. Um, so this is specifically for the drink rail. So again, just showing the universal rail dimensions um, for you so you can get a feel for what that is. Um, and here just showing up, blow, showing a blown up um, installation view um, of, the, of the product. And everything you see down here connected to the two posts, not the post sleeves themselves or the cap of the skirt, but everything in between that is your rail kit or your rail pack and they um, you've got your bottom support channel your top support channel uh, and then you've got your infill with your bottom rail on there um, so same brackets same support this installation down here everything is the same that is your universal rail kit or your universal rail pack and as you look at that top rail now instead of choosing a premier or trademark or radiance top rail for the drink rail, you're gonna you're gonna purchase a an order an additional universal rail uh, that comes with your fasteners, uh, and you will pre-drill through the support channel, through the universal rail into the bottom of the deck board. You want to make sure that these these fasteners are no more than 15 inches apart or less than 15 inches apart between Hello? fasteners. Um, whoever answered the phone there, if you could hit mute, um, that would be wonderful. Um, so again, between the uh, the fasteners uh, is no more than 15 inches, which then will uh, you'll use that supplied fastener to connect the universal rail to the drink rail um, and pull that whole system tight as you're going through that. So a couple of considerations um, as we go through here, you've got your, uh, you're going to want a full profile deck board. Um, so a, a, a full profile square, so a, a, a non-groove deck board um, and a non-scale deck board. Um, for the installation. Yet, um, as we go down further here, um, some other considerations are the, the width of the deck board. Um, as you go to the um, narrow width deck board, um, you're going to be looking at um, in between posts. You want to go post to post only with that yeah. narrow width deck board. Um, if you think about it logically, the uh, the three inch deck board will not no. cover the top of any of our um, our post sleeves. Um, those are going to leave some openings, so narrow width is post to post only. As you go to the other end of the spectrum, to the wide width, you're going to be looking at the um, over the post only. Uh, we want to get the width of the post sleeves to add strength to that wider deck board so we don't have any rocking uh, concerns with the product. So wide width is over the post only, narrow width is going to be 
um, post to post only. And then as you move into that standard width um, deck board, you can go over the post or post to post. Um, just consider that post sleeve that you're working with. Um, and if you're going to go post to post with a, you know, a four inch or a five inch uh, post sleeve, um, you're going to want to consider you know, dog earing that deck board a little bit so you don't have sharp points sticking out into the um, into the deck where a homeowner could catch their leg or, or clothing or something along it. So um, narrow width between the posts, wide width over the posts, um, standard width can go post to post or over. Um, just consider your post sleeve that you're working with. And we want to make sure, again, that we're using just a full profile square edge deck board. So what does this look like in the field? Here's an installation we did last fall um, as we were getting feedback and testing uh, with contractors. Um, so this just shows, again, that white frame system that the market had been asking us for um, and also looking at um, you know, the, the deck board with different angles and stairs um, as, as throughout that application. So I'm just showing what it looks like kind of from an installed perspective. And then just some cool stuff that we're seeing back uh, from the installers in the field. Um, utilizing the, the material set we have in TimberTech AZEC with a PVC product of <coughs> being able to here on the right in builder rail of you know, taking a, a, um, a table saw and back cutting out material at a 45 degree angle um, without going through the top cap, putting a little bit of adhesive in there and heating this up to fold it over on itself to kind of give you a waterfall edge on that builder rail. So kind of a unique uh, custom type look. Now on the left hand side of the screen, this is actually a wide width vintage deck board um, with the same thing done here where they, they back cut material out at a 45 degree um, and folded it over on its edge on both sides. So it gives you the appearance of a much thicker deck board um, as well as running that grain pattern all the way down the edges, which just gives it a very unique and custom type look um, uh, over what maybe you having a smooth edge. So just some kind of cool things that we're seeing from uh, uh, you know, our partners, our installers in the field of things that they're taking the products making it their own, customizing it, putting their own spin on it. Um, that just ends up looking really cool out in the marketplace. So uh, that's always fun to see. Um, you know, as we look at um, the top rails here again, um, so we're, we've moved to universal kits and packs. And just to, to level set with everybody, uh, difference between a kit and a pack, uh, when I think about it, just so I, I a quick, quick memory, um, kits are complete, packs are partial. So kits will come with your two support channels, your universal bottom rail, your hardware, and your white color match solid fill of balusters. Um, so kits are complete with composite balusters. Packs are partial. So packs will come with your two support channels, your universal rail, and your hardware, and you need to pick your infill. So packs are partial, pick your infill. Um, just a quick, uh, it took me eight and a half years here, and I finally got it figured out what's what. Um, the kits are complete and packs are partial. So what historically maybe you ordered um, seven Premier Rail kits uh, for a project that you were on and you received seven Premier Rail kits. Um, now you will get seven Universal Rail kits and seven Premier Rail top rails. Those top rails are sold individually and they're boxed individually. So you would get them, they would be protected and boxed as they came out to the job site, but you will get the Universal Rail kits and your top rail. That's um, really driven around um, trying to make sure what product was available in the marketplace um, as from a, a stocking dealer perspective, um, even for distribution, able to have that universal rail kit or pack or whatever make, makes sense on in stock and not have to necessarily be as concerned about which top rail profile is there. Um, if it's a market where it's 50, 50 or 70, 30, whatever it might be, you can still, you can still turn and get the project going with the installer, uh, work, you know, as an installer, keep your project going with the, that unit, that universal kit or pack. And then we'll get the top rail out, um, you know, within a day or two, depending on the service levels of the market you're in from distribution. So really kind of makes it, um, the inventory is more readily available, can move faster, turn faster, um, and you're able to then select that top rail profile to go with it. You know, as I started out, um, we were talking about uh, that bracket, <clears throat> just showing here in the bottom left, how that bracket looks when it's attached to a support channel at a 45 degree angle or in the stair application. Um, on the right hand side there, you're seeing um, that bracket outlined in blue in the um, in the level kind of straight application. So again, hardware is included in your kits and packs. This bracket is included and it does angles, 
stairs and level straight for you. So it does all that for you. So you don't have to be concerned about are there stairs, are there angles on this job um, as, as you're ordering product for it versus uh, the right hand side of the screen here showing some competitive product in either vinyl or composite um, where if you're doing an angle, um, you got to order an additional hardware pack that um, is going to cost you something um, and then potentially have to bird mouth cut that product um, to fit it around that post sleeve versus the left hand side of the screen, select the correct po uh, post sleeve, the bracket that is already provided in the hardware with the kit in the pack, um, cut it at an angle, put it on your post and you're ready to go. So as we look at simplification from an installation, um, your hardware is included, that bracket does it all for you. Um, you say simplification in ordering and complexity of just moving everything to the universal rail kit pack and then picking your top rail. So simple from a design, simple from installation, simple from, um, from an ordering perspective. But again, going back to what the homeowner consumer wants is to be able to design their outdoor space. Um, and when we talk to contractors around the country the last couple of years and, and try to you know understand, ask questions about how they're having such success with connecting our timber, our timber tech railing to our decking. Um, and it's pretty universal across the board. The conversation starts with, they, they start the conversation with the homeowner with railing. And they drive the railing in the conversation from the front end because they, they, we all know they want to design, again, back to the multi-width and mixing and matching of colors. Um, they want the design. So having railing in at the front end of Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, uh, you know, from a design perspective, this is really where you can make a statement. This is, again, what you see from looking down the yards or from a, a you know, curb appeal. You know, railing is what's really going to stand out. Um, so driving that from the front end of the conversation allows the customer to really ex have a, an experience that they're expecting to have when they make this investment versus maybe bringing in railing very late on in the conversation. Um, now you've got maybe a homeowner that had a, a $20,000 budget and framing and decking that they picked out you know, took off $15,000 of that and their expectation that is that railing is just about free. Uh, when it comes to the uh, to the whole budget of the project, now they're disappointed. Uh, now they either have to downgrade their expectations on their overall design, uh, downgrade their railing, um, or downgrade their their uh, their decking. So they just kind of they leave with a this wasn't what I was hoping for um, type feel. Um, so bringing it in early allows it to be a part of the whole design process, more consultative, um, and and at the end of the of the project getting the homeowner what they're looking for from the decking as well as from the railing in their design. So endless design options when you think of different colors, different post sleeves, tops and bottoms, but all installed the same. If you can order one, you can order the other. Um, it truly is that simple as we go through it. Um, so looking in at the um, um, Radiance Rail Express, um, that's available in two ways, um, a la carte, uh, where you can order your Radiance Rail um, pack it comes with your top and bottom it's a single extruded top and bottom rail with pre-routed holes um, and comes with your hardware and then you would order your hollow balusters and then you would order your post sleeve your cap and your skirt so it takes a number of SKUs to get there um, absolutely available allows you to customize in and put in black balusters with a white and top um, or vice versa um, you can mix and match as you're going through that through the a la carte way and then just from an ease of ordering standpoint, um, what we did was we put all of that into one box. So in the smart set, you're able to get your top and bottom rail uh, with the pre-routed holes. You're able to get your hardware, your white color match balusters, your one post sleeve, one cap and one skirt all in one box. So if you have a project that is, doesn't have stairs, you can get that done in, in a couple of SKUs um, in that smart set. And then one additional post sleeve cap and skirt to kind of finish off the job. Um, up against the house so just really driving that simplicity um, it's only available in white this year and we did offer it in a, um, a six foot stair panel as well and uh, kind of look uh, behind the curtain here you know we're looking at adding uh, aluminum balusters to round out that product line um, whether that's available in the smart set or a la carte we'll, we'll wait and see and then also looking at uh, we'll continue to listen to feedback from the marketplace of do we need to launch it in the other colors because right now again it's only available in white uh, but again, as you look at Radiance Rail Express and the Classic Series before we get into metal, um, we got to make sure, that, again, that we're looking, you know, what are we comparing it to? That we're looking at apples to apples from code compliance and safety, as well as, you know, hollow balusters to solid filled balusters, pre-routed holes, 
um, et cetera. What are we looking at? You know, and make sure that we're comparing the right product um, in the right situation to the with the right consumer um, installer or whatever that might be. Um, as we work through that again, back to the whole portfolio, it gives us options. We just have to make sure we're positioning the right one in the right conversation. As I move into um, uh, metal, uh, we've got two options here for you in Impression Rail Express, which is our panelized system uh, that's available in white, black, and dark bronze with two infill options for you of aluminum balusters, um, glass panel, and glass slats. I'm sorry, three options there for you of aluminum balusters, glass panel, and glass slats. We need to move over to the right-hand side of Impression Rail. Again, that's going to be our stick built, you know, build it uh, on site um, system that's available in black and bronze and one infill option of aluminum balusters. Our panelized product in Impression Rail Express has, is available in six and eight foot sections for level and for stair. Uh, and Impression Rail um, is going to be available in six, eight, and ten for your deck sections and then eight foot for your stair section. So if you've got a um, you know, builder uh, or projects that are, you know, you're building a lot of 10 by 10 decks in a neighborhood, maybe consider impression rail um, as you've got, you, you'll be able to eliminate a post, uh, maybe, you know, decrease some labor um, and get in, get in and off those projects a little bit faster with those 10 foot sections. But here, as you look at this product again, you know, one of the things that, uh, that we talk about a lot here is our aluminum product as a, we utilize a half inch by three quarter picket where a lot of our competition in the marketplace um, and aluminum is using a three-quarter by three-quarter picket. Um, and just by moving from that three-quarter picket to a half by three-quarter, we're able to reduce that obstruction, that view, uh, we re reduce that obstruction by almost 30%, uh, which really just gives you a cleaner look. So as, you're, as you have homeowners asking you or um, kind of installers coming into the lumber yard and asking, you know, hey, we've got a, working on a project that the view really matters. They, they want to see the kids on the play set or they want to see the golf course or the lake or the ocean or whatever it might be. Uh, they can't afford in their budget glass or cable. Um, what options do you have for me? Um, this is where, you know, our aluminum systems really fit in. Of they, they have a much less um, obstructed view as you're looking at it. So consider that as you've got homeowners or installers looking at uh, for projects that kind of give you a better view as you're looking out through the railing. As I move into... Um, you know, for, uh, here we, if we look at our whole railing portfolio, metal and composite. We offer that with a 25-year warranty. Um, they're low maintenance across the board. Um, so really, you know, trying to again keep that common of a 25-year warranty through the entire portfolio. But as we go into Impression Rail Express specifically, um, again, that is code compliant. Uh, you know, residential and commercial, uh, and you've got a, a industry standard of a 20, um, a 2604 powder coating. And then we utilize um, our patented interlocking technology in our balusters versus using a, a weld um, or some, some, some panelized systems have a, a screw that runs into the middle of that top uh, and top and bottom of the middle baluster. Uh, so there's different ways of getting there with that interlocking technology. It offers flexibility, rattle free. You can cut on any, anywhere in that and the panel stays together uh, versus if you just have a fastener at the top and bottom of the middle baluster you cut on either side of that and one side is going to want to fall apart on you. Um, so it really allows that versatility and flexibility in the field for you. Um, as you move into the middle of the screen here, again, three colors, uh, three infill options. And then you've got your gate kits and we have 36 inch and 42 inch high gate kits. The gate kits fit up to a 50 inch opening. So you've got about a 48 inch roughly gate. Um, and with the, hinges uh, that we provide with you, the hardware, as well as the latch uh, to lock it. Um, we you install those to the post. You've got a little bit of gap between the post and the gate. That's where you get that 50 inch opening. So again, the gate, we'll, we will provide the hardware for you, the hinges and the latch with the key. Um, and we you also, it'll cover up to a 50 inch opening for you. And those are available in all three colors as well. Moving to the right uh, in aesthetics, again, that an unobstructed view with that half inch by three quarter picket. I um, mean, all of our, all of our f fasteners and hardware are all hidden. Um, so what we continue to hear time and time again when we do consumer research um, and ask customers why they picked what they picked, we continually hear on Impression Rail Express that as they looked at, you know, all of the railing options that are available and shown out there in the marketplace, you know, Impression Rail Express stood out as a very clean line uh, without the hardware and the brackets and 
um, all the fasteners showing up on the outside external and kind of breaking up those lines. Uh, you know, the homeowner truly liked that, that clean line that they were able to show um, within Impression Rail Express. So, um, and then again, you've got the three colors and a top rail profile um, that really lines up with, you know, it looks similar to the Premier top rail. So, it, you know, kind of tried and true, true top rail profile with some real aesthetics to it. Or you get into aluminum. Um, other systems out there sometimes, you know, just a square one by one tube um, or a bread loaf type top rail, which are great. Uh, but we, there is a, a large chunk of the market that is looking for a little more aesthetic, a little bit more design in that top rail profile. Middle of the screen there just shows the packaging. Uh, we've actually updated this a little bit here now. Um, but you, as you move forward with this, your top your level panels and your stairs will actually still um, come with your hardware. Yes. Question? No, I guess not. Um, so your level panel and your stair panel will come with your hardware. Um, so again, just like with the classic series, your hardware comes with your rail kit and pack, just like Radiance Rail Express and the smart set, your hardware is included here with Impression Rail Express in your level and stair panels, your hardware is included um, with the panel. The panel comes with the top and bottom rail as well. So everything's included. Um, so here with aluminum, um, similar to with Radiance Rail Express, so make sure we're positioning um, you know, apples to apples um, as you get into, into aluminum solutions. Um, hardware is included. A lot of the systems out there, hardware is, is um, sold separately to figure out which angle or stairs or what are they doing. And that hard, hardware certainly has a cost to it. Uh, so make sure that you're comparing apples to apples when you look at um, so the solutions out there that we're, we're including that hardware since we include it in our kits. Um, as you look at a post kit, we include the post, your cap, and your skirt inside the post kit box. So again, make sure we're, we're kind of looking at the whole picture uh, when we're looking at uh, a metal railing or railing even in general, because um, a lot of things get moved around there for you. Uh, but you can be, be confident in ours. Typically, everything is going to be included there for you as much as we can. And as you look down in the bottom right, um, showing that the over the post bracket. So if you order our two inch post, that actually comes with your level and stair over the post bracket in the box. So again, you don't have to know what type of insulation is being um, utilized or installer. You don't have to pick which, you know, I need two of these and four of those because of the angles or, um, you know, stairs or what you're doing. Both are included in that kit for you. Again, just to drive uh, simplicity for you in ordering um, installation and making sure that you've got the right product there on the job site. So, um, you know, as we move forward here, uh, you know, what we are going to be launching um, here very shortly, should start shipping in May, is a drink rail option for our metal panelized system of Impression Rail Express. You can see the, uh, the drink rail clip there in the upper right, and I'll move over to the uh, install instructions here again for Impression Rail Express. Um, so similar to um, the classic series here, you've got your drink rail clip that you'll, you will attach this uh, to the uh, top channel. Uh, and then you've got holes already pre-drilled for your uh, attachment into the deck board. These are gonna be sold in boxes of 12. You're gonna need four clips for a six footer and six clips for an eight footer. And we again, include um, those fasteners for you uh, to attach it to the channel as well as to the deck board. So as you move down here, again, a similar looking uh, blown up um, install uh, instruction here. Um, again, you're going to everything down here connected to the posts is using, utilizing the same clips uh, that we've been using here for the last couple of years. We don't change that install instruction. What you're gonna order though, is the over the post panel um, or drink rail panel. Um, and that's just a panel that comes without your top rail profile. So similar to your classic series, uh, you're gonna get a panel without your top rail. Then you will order an additional uh, bottom rail cover um, and then your drink clip box of how many, every, however many you need for your sections. Attach that uh, bottom rail cover slide your your clips on there again four for a six footer six for an eight footer use the provided fasteners connect that to the channel and up into your deck board um, and you're good to go um, so again a, a very uh, kind of straightforward installation um, again full profile deck boards only we don't want scallop boards and as you go through the install instructions it really gets into a lot of different details here for you um, as you're moving through there so again these will be available once we launch this in may uh, but um, then they will be on our website again under the support and installation help. Standard boards are going to be um, you know between the posts and over the posts, and you can use an arrow width. We don't want to use the uh, the wide width on Impression Rail Express um, as it's um, 
with the narrower posts, uh, we want to stick to the, the standard width or the, the, the narrow width deck boards. Now, if you're working on a over the post installation, again, the, you're going to get that over the post slash drink rail panel, uh, which comes without the drink, the um, top rail profile and you'll get that bottom rail cover. Um, but we need to have something inside that post sleeve to attach it to. It's a hollow post sleeve to make sure that that deck board doesn't twist and those butt joints stay together as you have your seams there at the post. So here we're just showing utilizing a, a scrap piece of uh, a wood four by, uh, four by four, cutting off the edges there um, and sliding it down inside that post. Um, and that screw in the top is to hold it there in place as you mount the, uh, the panels, remove that screw, run your deck boards over, fasten down into that wood four by four. And now you've really pulled that all together um, and built that system to, to hold it tight um, and together. So again, makes that, um, and you kind of follow that same methodology as the classic series as you're kind of building this whole thing out. Other things to come here, um, this is stuff that we're probably gonna be launching in the June timeframe. Uh, we'll have a, a, you know, I just went through with you how, uh, you know, homeowners, consumers are asking for that hidden fastener, that clean lines. Um, but we also understand that there's there's uh, times that we, we maybe didn't measure right or homeowners don't have the right tools. Um, uh, it, it leaves a gap or an uns a, a cut that we're not proud of up against the, uh, the post sleeve. So by offering this collar now, you can slide that over the top and the bottom rail, um, push that up against the post, snap it in place, and you can cover you can cover up any of those mismeasurements or um, you know cuts again that uh, you know the homeowner may not want to uh, show their neighbors that they did. So these will be sold um, as accessories. More to come on how we box them and kit them, uh, but you will have a top and bottom. Uh, profile for level and for stairs um, as an option there to uh, again push those up against the post um, and cover up any any cuts there that you uh, that you need to or, or spaces in the middle of the screen there we're going to offer a, a an accessory aluminum skirt in two inch and three inch there's certain markets uh, certain contractors are, are demanding uh, to be able to sell the product they need in an aluminum skirt to be clear our our post kits come with your post your aluminum uh, cap and a nylon skirt that is powder coated to match uh, the product. We have not had any uh, performance, any cracking, any weathering, any issues at all with that nylon skirt. We've just got some installers um, in certain markets that have said they, they, they got to have an aluminum skirt to be able to utilize the product line. Um, so we're going to be offering those as an accessory item, um, but the post kits will still include that two piece nylon skirt. And then off to the right, uh, we've got our four inch uh, sleeve, which here again, um, this is going to, for the, the installers that like to work with a wood four by four, um, instead of a surface mounted post, um, you can sleeve the, over a wood four by four, um, with a color matched, um, aluminum post sleeve, uh, and cap and skirt. So, um, these would be available here and kind of in that March timeframe. Um, but, um, so we'll, more to come on these, uh, and we'll make sure to keep everybody in the loop here, um, as we move this forward. As we kind of move forward here. Uh, into what kind of resources that are available to you. Um, you've got the um, our continued support and um, of marketing and advertising on national and regional levels, um, looking at really, again, telling the story of timber tech decking, fasteners and railing are just better together. And the whole system, um, it works. That's how, we, that's how we build them. That's how we test them. That's how we put it together. So again, telling that story, talking about design options, uh, talk about ease of installation, highlighting that bracket, those types of things is what you'll see from us. I highly suggest uh, that if you, when you've got a few minutes, spend them some time on our website. Uh, you know, the pictures are great, all the all the, the product colors and all that stuff is wonderful. But I would I would really spend some time looking at again, uh, click on support, or click on installation help because there's just a lot of information out there to help you um, understand how the install goes. There's videos um, if you've got homeowners ask me a question on a phone of a DIY project or you're in the middle of a project uh, and trying to figure out how to how to use this goofy bracket and how to hold the gun uh, your drill um, you know there's videos out there um, it's something you can send a link hey look on page seven or look at you know about the minute two mark of a video and here's the you know be able to answer that question versus trying to describe over the phone you know hold the bracket here put this screw there or hold your drill this way uh, it just, you know, those conversations can kind of go round and round for a while. Um, so if you're familiar with our website, familiar with the install instructions and the videos, they become a very handy tool um, just to help um, as projects are in progress, you know, answer questions as you go through it. 
We've got our deck visualizer out there. Um, there's even a version of a similar to a, a uh, virtual home tour uh, where you can click on different spots around the deck and kind of move around, look at it from different angles, look out through the railing and see what that, that view might look like with different balusters and infill options. Um, all of our code reports, drawings, you know, all that stuff is out there again under that support section. There's just a lot, a lot of information there for you. Um, and one of the probably the um, most popular things that we launched here recently, again, now looking at here, uh, we've, we launched single page how to order forms. Um, so, you know, using these in the field um, as you're kind of building your quote or sending it in from a dealer to a distributor. Um, these are offered, this is the classic series we got. We have them for Builder Rail, Contemporary, Radiance Rail Express, for Smart Set, Impression Rail, all of the products. We've got a single page how to order guide. This doesn't cover everything. You know, it's going to cover, call it the 80 90% rule. Uh, you know, so this doesn't cover cable or glass, um, but it gets, get most, gets most of it done here. So very easily you can go through and check the box for the color. You know, are you working with kits, which are complete, that cover your, have your balusters included? Or are you working with packs where you're going to pick your infill? Um, and again, describes what's included here for you. So in this scenario, we'll work with packs. So we'll do six and eight footers. Um, and we'll use drink rail here. So we'll scroll down to the drink rail option, check the box for six and eight, select our color, and write our quantity off to the right here. Again, what we're going to need, we include our SKU. Um, so there's a reference point there. Um, if you're going to fax or scan or email that in um, to somebody to run a quote for you or place an order, head down here to choosing your infill because we, we went with packs. Uh, we tell you how many balusters are, are needed for a six, eight, or a 10 foot section. Um, and how many are included in a pack. Um, so again, you can do the math, check the box for your color, fill in your quantity, or same thing over here for aluminum, um, round or square. Again, part numbers are there, how many are included in a pack, and then move down here to post sleeves, caps, and skirts. Um, and obviously, again, here at the at the bottom, four by four posts are available. Um, you got lighting options, you got accessories, you got gates, you got a lot of different stuff that's also available. Um, but again, just for simplicity, um, building these out to kind of cover what the um, what the majority of the sales look like as we go through this, just to make it as simple as we can. So as you, again, as you go through this, we're talking about you know, simplification and clarification of the product line of getting into the classic series and launching Smart Set and Impression Rail Express, where we got all of our hardware included through all of that. Um, talk about the simplification of installation um, again with that bracket in the classic series. Um, just all the way through trying to drive those things and then really, you know, again, putting that simplification around how to order um, and, and kind of peeling back those layers. And, you know, here on its surface, um, while there's a lot of going on at its surface, it is a simple, simple product when you work through it um, and utilize tools like this on the how to order guide. And then we're going to continue to drive, um, you know, our replacement labor warranty. Uh, you know, if you're a Timber Tech loyalty member, um, this is an awesome tool to be able to offer to the homeowner and we're, we're driving this conversation down to the homeowner because we know they want to be able to protect their investment. You know, a lot of these um, folks are spending more on their, their outdoor deck than they did in the drive, the car in the driveway. They want to be able to protect that investment. So we're going to be talking to them um, and, and marketing this option to them as well. So when they're sitting there at the kitchen counter, um, they're, you know, they're, here's the color that we chose. We want these TimberTech fasteners and we want this TimberTech railing. Uh, so that we can make sure to protect our investment. So, um, you know, a great tool to be able to uh, utilize and show as you're sitting there at the at the kitchen table, talking to homeowners um, about you know why timber tech, um, and here's just another reason for you. So, with that, uh, you know, Tom or Matt uh, from Timber Tech, any anything I missed there or uh, questions from the team uh, that I can answer?